This is your host, Karen Donovan, and we have another exciting episode for you to put a smile on your face and a little bit more fun in your week to get you through the rest of the week. That's why we do it on Wednesdays. Tonight, we're going to be talking about your daily routine. So today on Strategies for a Happy Life, we're going to be covering a topic that many of you, when you hear it, you want to run the other direction. And that is setting up routines, daily routines. Now, a lot of you, and I know that I could count myself in that group, you know, when you hear routines and you hear structure, you want to just go the other way. You don't want to have any part of that. You're a free spirit and you don't want anyone or anything to dictate what you do on a daily basis. But let's face it, folks, get real. In your life, to have a happy life, you have to have some things that you do that you may not be totally excited about when you are getting ready to do them. But then once you've done them, things change, don't they? So let's start out with five things that you could do to set up routines, five routines for a happy and productive life. Number one is your morning routine. And by that, I mean, you know, how you get up and when you get up pretty much sets the tone for your day a lot of times. You know, you get one of those days where you have a terrible time waking up or you feel groggy when you woke up because of something you did the night before. (laughs) And it sets the tone for the day, doesn't it? So the key for setting up a daily routine for your morning is get up at about the same time every day, Um, maybe drink some water, Make your bed. This is a great one to get you started and feeling productive. And then don't forget that after you get dressed, take your shower, etc., have breakfast. Your mother always told you breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Okay, now for the second routine that you want to work on, it's your eating habits. You want to have healthy eating habits. Got to avoid that junk food, even though it tastes so good. Don't forget to take your vitamins. And a lot of times having the same things, you know, at different times, like, you know, if Wednesday is a certain day for salmon or Friday for something, do that. Set up your schedules. Make your lunch. If you, if you take your, if you go out for lunch every day, make your lunch and take it with you. The next thing everyone likes, exercise. So here's the thing about exercise. You don't have to work out at the gym. Just go for a walk around the block. Do something. I know they just did a study where, you know, you thought you had to do 10,000 steps a day to be healthy. Well, guess what? It's only 7,000. And that's not a very long walk. You could do that in no time. And if you have one of the free apps on your phone, that will help. Now, the next thing is, is your work habits. During the day, don't forget to do things on that routine, like set up a time where you check your email. Don't be checking it the whole entire day, right? Set up a time, preferably not first thing in the morning when it's going to get you upset. (laughs) Another thing is um, to do, oh, This was a good one. Do one scary thing every day. Like if you feel 
like there's one thing at work that you need to get done and you don't really want to do it, just go for it and grab that one thing and do it. That's a cool one. Now, on to the next one and the last one, which is bedtime routine. Now, one thing we all like to watch TV in bed, but invariably I find that most people who watch TV in bed get too much of that blue light and they do not sleep well. They leave the TV on all night. They wake up, they go back to sleep, blah, blah, blah. So as hard as it is, a half an hour before you're getting ready to go to bed, turn off your screens, quit checking your email, stop watching Netflix. You hear me? And relax, listen to some calming music, read a book, maybe make your to-do list for the next day and make sure you get enough sleep. Those are the things, the five things that you should be building into your routine, your morning routine, your eating routine, your exercise routine, your work habit routine, and your bedtime routine. And remember, you don't have to do these all at once. Just pick one that you feel gives you joy and start with that one and then build from there. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. It's one day at a time. It's the Good News Wednesday show. Come on, kids. It's time to go. Tell everybody that you know. Watch the Good News Wednesday show. Good News Wednesday's finally here. Let's stand up.